We'll send it and hang on. Oh. What's up you guys, FSC Trucking. We just loaded the fire truck, we're getting ready to head down to Oshkosh, we gotta load up another truck that's gonna go also to South Carolina. Not a truck, some kind of um, electrical switch. It's gonna go on a top deck, so we're getting ready to leave Wyawega. I'm soaked to the bone from loading this fire truck in the snow. We're getting ready to get the heck out of here, get to Oshkosh and get loaded. So with that, let's go ahead and get this video started. My absolutely soaked hat off. Take my sopping wet hoodie off. It's actually not that cold. The problem is it's cold outside. And it's not so cold where the snow melts. It's cold outside, but it ain't terribly cold. So it's right at that break point of where it will thaw as soon as it hits something. So you're working with wet snow naturally makes me all wet so it can be brutal all my gloves are soaked clothes are soaked and I didn't think ahead because I was changing I didn't think ahead because I was just getting loaded today figured I didn't need to bring a change of clothes so I got out of my mostly wet stuff Kill the high idle, release the brakes. Let's push up on this. That's my trailer brakes. This is so, in a case of an accident or a jackknife, I can get down on this and then it'll apply the trailer brakes only. We don't need that. That's the inner axle lock, we don't need it. Today I miss swinging doors because life is easier when you swing doors. You don't have to be out in the weather.
or reds. I don't know what the southbound signal is. You can't see the southbound railroad signal from the road. Either way, check out my little railroad channel, FSC Railroad. Another channel on YouTube. Of course, we also have FSC Truck Shop. That's where we maintain this truck and other trucks that we're trying to build. And his FSC Speed Shop. That's the automotive side of my channel. Why you guys go ahead and find them channels, like, subscribe, all of that good stuff. A little bit more of me, just in a different environment. Snow plow right behind him. I think the snow plow is going better than me. It's funny, I don't want to be behind him. Turned out he caught up to me. Turns out many years ago, I didn't know this, there was a real bad derailment right here. Right there at that crossing. I put a video up of a train I saw coming through there and a lot of guys told me, hey, that's where that derailment was. Google searched it, sure enough. A little bit of local history I did not know about. going to load at is in Oshkosh and what well I used to go there all the time it used to be a different company well it probably does the same thing I haven't been there since the name changed but I'm assuming they do the same stuff it used to be a real nice lady to work there to load me and it's a pain in the ass a little bit because you had to tarp these things but usually you get inside and they would load you up indoors tie down and tarp it indoors and it wasn't a bad place at all and we used to take them things I used to usually get the Massachusetts stuff that would go up to uh, uh, I think Devons or Danvers Mass a few videos back I did a National Guard little war wagon Humvee pull trailer right down the road I talked about that place we're going there now we're gonna put a piece on the top deck now we're going to take it down to South Carolina to go with this fire truck. But I used to go there all the time, and it, was, it wasn't a bad place to go at all, so hopefully it's still the same. It would be really nice to be carpeted indoors, so I'll be warm, and I won't have to have my wet hoodie on. That'll be really helpful. be a nice full load too. Go to South Carolina. Today's Thursday, so if I can unload today, sorry, if I can load it all today, I could leave over the weekend, be down there Monday morning, get my two drops off, Reload and come back. Come on, truck, you can turn. Front end wanted to stay straight. So go down to South Carolina, come back from South Carolina. Obviously, by the time you guys see this, it'll be long after, but my oldest son, Sean, he's flying in. And then a couple days after he flies in, we're going to load up the camper, the semi, and the bikes. Yeah, in the dead of winter, we're going to go down to West Texas, where my sister now lives, and where my mother and father are building a house. We're getting things set up for my mother and my father. Plus, we'll have Christmas together, the entire family. Of Christmas all together. And my mother will be absolutely thrilled.
throttle mass back on track. Force of habit, I went the other way. I went south on 41, so I stayed on 45. Oopsie. Oh, Biggie, quick you turning. Off the highway, on the highway I go. side, that white dock over there. Now hiring. Yeah, everybody else. They hired. That's new. Wonder if you go in there. Bigger section off to the side. We'll get ahead and back in. Bring the strobes on.
forgot I do have a car heart in here. She's gonna come out with a forklift and plop it on me right here. And then I could back inside the tarp, or I could just tarp it right where we're sitting. <laughs> 